New at 9, each year, Highway 7 is the site of hundreds of crashes. Well, now the Minnesota Department of Transportation is looking to make safety improvements along a 30-mile stretch of the road from St. Louis Park to Hollywood Township in Carver County. Fox 9's Mary McGuire shares what prompted the audit and what changes could be on the way. At Highway 7 and Texas Avenue, you can still find a small memorial where 15-year-old Dante Moore was hit and killed while crossing the intersection nearly four years ago. His death put a spotlight on highway safety, and this summer, the calls for improvements grew louder when another crash took the life of a 20-year-old motorcyclist 13 miles down the road in Shorewood. That corridor is used by most residents in my community weekly, if not daily, if not several times a day. They have to access at points that are inherently unsafe the way they're currently set up. Mayor Jennifer Labadee says residents in her city and beyond have expressed their fears about near misses for years. Those concerns prompted the Minnesota Department of Transportation to launch a road safety audit, taking a close look at short and long-term safety measures that may be needed from St. Louis Park to Hollywood Township in Carver County. The highway features some unique traffic challenges. There's just a lot of access points, and a lot of those access points are also kind of risk areas for people to you know, make poor decisions and, and get themselves into a crash. Part of the audit will be reviewing the sites of 11 fatal crashes that happened from 2016 to 2021. They'll also take into account comments left on this interactive map where people can mark the specific areas where they have issues. We'll kind of compile all this data from the public, all this crash data, traffic data, all these recommendations. From there, MnDOT will make safety recommendations, which could include everything from additional lighting, rumble strips, crosswalks, roundabouts, and new turn lanes. Reporting in St. Louis Park, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. The public comment period on the project will be open until Monday. MnDOT's final report should be complete sometime this spring.